What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode three. I'm Andrew. This is Ryan. And uh, today we're going to get into a little bit of my favorite Bible story at this time, you know, because like we said, we have many different favorite Bible stories. And it's all kind of like relative to where you are in that moment. Yeah, you know, it like, makes sense. This Bible story, it's Jesus' um, baptism. And what I'm feeling kind of, it, it relates to us as what we're doing right now. Yeah, and the mustard seed, right? Exactly. So right now, we're going to do it a little different. Instead of just talking about it, we're going to read it, and then we're going to discuss it. And uh, what kind it means. Kind of connected yeah, to Yeah, connected to what is going on with us. Exactly. So the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan by John the Baptist. So we'll start with John when he's talking to the Pharisees, right, who we saw. You, you pointed that out before. Mm -hmm. um, so he was talking to the Pharisees, and he says... I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him by saying, I need to be baptized by you, yet you come to me. But Jesus answered him, Let it be done now, for this is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented, and when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. There's a lot there. Yeah. And one thing you really got to point out is like how, like when Jesus shows up, John makes it crystal clear, I um, I need to be worthy. baptized by you. Exactly. Like, I'm not worthy to baptize you. No, John, you are, because you're the one who had to pave that path yep. for Jesus. Exactly. And you started the ball rolling down the hill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the, to fulfill all righteousness. Mm -hmm. You made that connection before, too, with Isaiah. Isaiah 53. That was a really good find, because honestly, when you're reading that, like you wouldn't nearly even think about the connection with the Old Testament. But there are so many moments that like Jesus fulfills yeah. what was it's, prophesied. It's Jesus' life mission. Yes. So I can read that, too, just real quick. Um... My righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, for he will bear all their sins. So it was kind of like he was fulfilling that moment, and it was the start of his mission. He was to bear getting back. He didn't. Jesus had no sins. He didn't have to be baptized. That's pretty much what John was like making clear. Like, what are you doing here? Like, what do I got to baptize you? Sure. John gathered the followers. He had, you know, he started the path. He it gathered was. the followers, and. They needed to see Jesus get baptized so that we could all get baptized because, you know, we are all sinners in a, in a way. The start of our faith. Yeah. yeah exactly. So it, there are a lot of moments where Jesus shows us the way. And that's kind of the whole idea, I guess, is really trying to imitate um, what he's shown in, in these words. So what was your connection from this to kind of the mustard seed and what you're reading and dealing with right now? So the baptism of Jesus really stuck out to me this week. Um, it's not necessary. It's one of my favorite stories. As we've said in the last episode, we have many, but uh, this one really, it just like, it grabs me and how we're trying to start something with the mustard seed and the website and we're reaching out to other people and people are like touching with us, like our, our logo yeah, ourselves so like cool. we're just blessed and we just feel this journey just how we're going about it and everything and reading uh matthew chapter 13 um the baptism of jesus and all that how i connected with john you know like john the baptist was he was pretty much gifted to his mom and dad they're an older couple and you know that not it gets to me because like how I'm not that I'm necessarily older or anything you know but like trying to have a kid isn't easy and just the miscarriages and all that and just like how John was a blessing and how Jesus is a blessing but just like the things that John was doing and paving the way and like for Jesus to get the ball rolling yeah of just course. 
really sticks out to me. I can see that connection because John the Baptist was so pivotal in kind of starting Jesus's journey and his mission. And not that, you know, we're that close to what John the Baptist is doing, no, but no. at the same time, like, there is a connection where the mustard seed, the whole idea is kind of like bringing more people to Jesus. Yeah, we want to reach older and younger generation, sure. bring you all together. And just like, because he's the one who's you know, got all the answers. And, yeah, like, we want to read and learn, and that we want everyone to. Like how John said, like when Jesus came to be baptized, and he said, "I need to be baptized by you." Yeah, he was very clear, humble, and understands crystal you know? clear that like, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. you have no sin. Exactly. He's like, you should be baptizing me. Yeah. What are we talking about here? And for like, sure, like how Jesus stopped him with one sentence, mm-hmm. like. To fill all righteousness. Yeah, to fill all righteousness. That's fairly cool. So what really stuck out to me within this story is the last sentence here where it says, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. I constantly have to remind myself that almost every day through my faith journey. There are so many moments where um, I almost just feel like I'm not worthy to kind of do these things to be able to sit here and to talk about our faith like yeah i I know what you mean 100 it's like we're not worthy to um spread the word but sure but we're trying but we are in a way sure and just to hear the lines this is my beloved son i think about that all the time to understand that in the sense that jesus god created us all special in our own image and in his image and likeness and they're we are being picked out for a reason to be here on earth and for him to say this is my beloved son and i think about that a lot for like when i'm praying to say like to think of jesus saying to me like you are my beloved son Mm -hmm. like you are here for a reason Mm -hmm. and you are here to do my will and thinking about that makes me want to like dive in even deeper to like my faith and to try to be the best version that i can be because God created me, and he picked me to be his beloved son, just like he picked every one of us to be his sons and daughters. So that line in itself uh, really always connects with me. Um, so, no, really cool story. I like how you related it to what's going on with the mustard seed as well. All right, so let's end in a prayer. Um, great episode. Really cool to talk about the baptism of Jesus and you know our connection to it in this mm-hmm. moment. So... In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, you are my first thought and my first love. As the day goes on, I encounter challenges or busyness. Please help me to keep you first. Help me to find your voice in the sea of others. Give me the grace and wisdom I need to serve you today and to be a blessing for those you send my way. I love you. I pray that my actions are through you and that all day I can reflect your love. Amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And um, it's been fun. It so has. Uh, if there's any stories you want us to read and reflect and go over, please leave it in the comments. Sure. We love all uh, those interactions. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thank you so much. Love you guys. Peace.